everybody welcome back to my channel and welcome to those who are new now as you've just seen in the video um this is another 20 pound challenge which i'll tell you at the end whether i made it or not and these are things i'm about to show you to be unboxed so the first one is that i picked up is wednesday and it looks like one of those little pods where the little figurine is in there i think 12 to collect so let's have a look and see what this is about it's always really fun doing the challenges because there's so much you can pick up you just don't know i just don't know whether i'm gonna stick to the amount or not but it's fun so here we go i've seen these in like spider-man casings there's you can get those um so there you go that is is that yeah, I was going to say, is it Wednesday? Of course it is, it says on the box. So, yeah, there she is there with the iconic um, black dress that she wears. It looks like you can stack them as well. Oh, that's quite nice. Um, I think there's a pamphlet in here. So we'll just get it out and have a little looky. A little looky. Um, let's move you there so we can see. Wednesday fan favourites. It looks like you can stack them as well. Yeah. So these are different ones you can get. And L Girl Wednesday is here. Dance pose. That one there. Ah, okay. So there we have it. Dance pose Wednesday. <laughs> Good. Okay. What else did we pick up? Now, I picked this up because I thought it just looked fun. And it looks, yeah, just purely the fun of it. And I wanted to have a look a bit closer at it, so I thought I'd pick this up. Now, bear in mind, when I was at the shop, the range, as you've just seen on the video, um, I didn't plan what I was going to pick up. It's just, I just put picked up random things. Uh, but I like the look of this. I think it's called a Funky Pal. <laughs> nope, Funky Paws. Well, funky pal would work as well wouldn't it but there's different ones on the packaging there that you can see but i just thought that looked just fun it looks like a little pot plant but through with little hair like that color surprise Ooh, color surprise okay uh pop press and feel my hair oh okay so there's a bit more to this then click them all Oh, okay, let's get into this one. I'm quite intrigued with this one. There's just some really cool things out there, isn't there? And sometimes you don't always find them online. Sometimes you have to actually go out and about to actually see what you can find. Okay, let's see. Let's get them out. Oh, wow. Looks like an ice cream. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Check that hair out. Wibbly wobbly. That is so cool. Okay, so what does it say? Press nut pops out. I have to get that packaging again to see what it said again. Um, press it and it pops out. Yeah, but what does it say about Ed got Ed cold water? Oh, okay. So let's just push the star first, and then. Oh, okay. Yep. So it just comes out of the little coney thing. Oh, look, you can see the body a bit better there. Oh, cute little bear. So what changes colour then? Love the hair. That's so neat. Look at that. Ooh, that's satisfying. <laughs> oh, I love that. Very neat. Okay, well, what's, what's the colour part, though? So it does say on there, does it not? Doesn't it? Does it not? Doesn't it? I meant to say. Um, yeah, hold down the star while it. Yeah, we did that. But where's the bit where it says that you can add water? Add water to what? Add cold water to the body of it? Oh, um, yeah, I guess so. Let's try it and find out. Okay, so we've got some water. It's not super clear on what is supposed to change colour. So I guess I'm just going to pop my fingers in there. 
I can't see what part so maybe we just roll it over here and see what it, what it does because I'm not entirely sure what about the eye anything hmm me and water again <laughs> nothing ever happens when these colored things okay unless you know let me know um I can't see anything changing because on the packaging it just it shows a heart but then where would it be on the on this is it on the back of it we'll just quickly do it and see if, if anything comes up if it doesn't then I'm not entirely sure where on this product that it would be but we've given it a go um it's still cute anyway regardless of whether there's a color changing part of it on here but I don't see it nothing has changed and we've given it a go so nothing right I don't think you have to do it on there just on the bottom part there nope okay oh no worries it's still really cool I don't think there's anything on the cone that would suggest not no I don't think so and if we put move that out of the way before I end up spilling it um pop you back in there oh that is cute though I still like it yeah there you have it right moving on to the second thing so I picked up this one the baby shark only because it looks so adorable and um I just love the smallest things I love anything any kind of uh, unboxing or toys or whatever but I just even for the small kids look at that baby shark I will refrain from singing it um <laughs> anyway this says baby shark baby sh yeah figure stamper kitty dough with st stamp stars oh looks so fun so the packaging once again it's all about the packaging well me I'm just a consumer for that but if you take a look at how neat it is with them on top of it I just thought that was neat very adorable so let's open up this and get it out and now I've got it in my head this the song um nice vibrant bright yellow by the looks of it or it could be just the packaging I don't know what the inside will look like never seen this before I saw it and grabbed it as you do Okay, so the stamp is going to be pretty big if it's that size, maybe. So let's pop all this out and see. Oh, crikey. How are you supposed to get into that? Oh. So there's the Play Doh. So it is the same colour as the uh, container. So that was nice. I was gonna say it's not really it's not oopsie it's not really yellow well it is but it's kind of almost like a lime green I don't know if the camera can pick that up but play-doh's play-doh Ooh, love it <laughs> you have some fun with that okay so that comes with like a lime green yellow play-doh and then our shark our little baby shark that looks like it's the stamper there and for some reason in my head I thought ink I thought ink stamper but it's not it's just the stamper that you'd put in the play-doh I thought there was something else in there but maybe not no so it's the um outline of the shark so we kind of need both of those really don't we so if we just flatten that out let me just give it a quick roll and then we can pop it put the stamper in and just see if it moulds really well right let's have a go so here we go Love this. Ta da! You can see it there. Oh, that's so fun. Little ones really like that type of thing. I like that. Does anybody else like the smell of Play Doh? Because it really smells nice. Right, so Crybaby's Little Changes. 
I love the fact that it says on here plant-based, eco-friendly, plastic-free packaging. Isn't that great? It would be really nice to get less of um, plastic and yeah, that's a good point that they do that. That's good. And ooh, have we got another water thing again? Water? I'm not American. Water? Um, is there another water part here to it? I don't know. Um, cute little flowers. These are the ones you can get. Aqua sunny, greeny, moon, sparky, and windy. <laughs> See what we get then. Um, yeah, cool packaging. Loving this little flower. This is really neat. Absolutely. Gets a thumbs up from me. Gosh, that's really adorable. Okay, open up. Open sesame. Who are we going to get? What cute, what little cutie are we going to get? Um, da -da. Oh my goodness, this looks so fun. Wow. Oh, wow. Check that out. You've got the hot air balloon. Oh my goodness. Moves up and down. It kind of reminds me of Polly Pocket. And you've got the windmill. Oh, neat. There's a flying kite. Not sure what those bubbles represent. Then over here we've got the little uh, cry baby's bed. Does that flip up? Oh wow, it does. Okay, so that's what we're going to put water in, I think, from what I saw. I'm going to put the water on there. Oh my goodness, I love this. <laughs> question mark. So I'm gathering that's what that's going to be. Maybe not a question mark. It could be just the design on that. And it looks like the little steps going up and down. Oh, I love that. It's so neat. Okay. So let's see what little cutie we've got here. This is really like Polly Pocket, isn't it? And oh, there she is. We've got Wendy. Oh, oh my goodness. She's so cute. I love that. Oh, that's, that's really cool. And um, obviously they, you can, um, it's great when they do this because they can all sit in different places on your little casing. So she can stand there. She can even go in her little hot balloon. Hot balloon. How would you attach yourself to that though? Yeah, look at that. Hot air balloon, that's what I was trying to say. And when she gets sleepy, she can go for a sleep. Walk up the stairs. Down the stairs. Do, 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 do. Imaginary play is like the best. That's so cool. Definitely windy because of the, the wind. But I tell you what, she's really she's made really well as well. Like her face is exactly what the um the crybabies look like, which I think is really great. So they've really captured that. Um we will find out in a second with the water. But let's just take a look at this it here um lovely big pamphlet wow that's so cool and there they are there so yep definitely got the windy one this is a really nice little series to collect tells you on the back so let's do the water that's intriguing let's find out what we're going to get from there then so let's get our little teardrop, pop it in the water, and then see what comes out of this little. Don't know what it is. Let's have a look. Oh, wow! I'm saying wow, and I don't even know what it is. What is that? Oh, I'm not entirely sure what it's supposed to be. And maybe a plant or something? I don't know, but it's kind of cute to have something like that. A little surprise there. With a little teardrop. I don't think it does anything other than that. But that's kind of cute. I love the concept. Oh, that's really adorable. Going back to the pamphlet again. Just very very quickly about the little surprise what about it was it supposed to do anything or was it just part of the 
yeah i think it's just part of the the look of it i think but yeah that's really nice i like that okay so pop your aside there the last thing i picked up because in total i only had like five things i actually picked up because i was really working on the basis of my challenge and trying to get my challenge to be you know 20 pound um and seeing um if i could get 20 pounds you know seeing what i could get for 20 pounds i wasn't sort of like calculating it i was sort of trying to be mindful of trying to keep to the challenge just to see if i can pick up blind bags or toys or surprises to the value but yeah um so yeah five i only did pick up five in the end so i've wanted to do one of these ones for ages sorry one of these ones for ages um, it's not the big one, it's the it's the medium sized one, but I'd love to do the big what bigger ones. I will at some point I think. But look at this little cutie. <laughs> so it's so sweet. So I look forward to seeing who we get. There's different ones you can get obviously, but you know, comparing this size with the big one, you know, is the bigger one even better? I don't know. I'll just have to check it out sometime. They were selling them for about £10 for a while. I think that's a bit high end for a bit of a soft toy, really. But I don't know how much they retail at now without the special thing on. And I don't really want to fork out more than £10 for the bigger version of this. To say that, the bigger version is about £10, £15, I think, from memory. I will show you the receipt. At the end of the video, I'm put, I'm pretty sure this was about five then. I think it was, or six pounds, something like that. Anyway, right, one more layer. Right, and we have da, 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 a unicorn. Oh, look at you, little unicorny. Ooh, oh, gosh, my gosh, gosh, I can smell it. Do they come with a smell? Oh, look, so plush and soft. And she's holding the Fruit Loops. <laughs> Never had those before, has anybody? I thought it might be cardboardy, plastic. Um, yep, she's got the golden mane there. Golden rainbow mane. Oh, comes out quite easily too. <laughs> uh, beautiful ears and feet. She's really cute. Cute little red horn there. Really soft and plush. Now, that one's the not the larger size, uh, obviously. She's quite decent for the size that she is um as you can see yeah really plush not overly excited that i got a unicorn i mean i would have rather had something else rather than the unicorn but for all you unicorn lovers out there i'm sure you would love that but she's still cute just i would have preferred another animal <laughs> so saying that let's see what the pamphlet says um that's a big capsule what feels like a big capsule Oh, her fluff's come off. Okay, so Zuru Snuckles, and we got the unicorn surprise snack pack. Yeah, I don't know what I would have wanted if I had, you know, if I could pick the 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 toy. I suppose. I think the little chip's quite cute. Quite relevant with Easter coming up. Would be quite quite nice so what have we got here is it a card okay so we've got Albie we've got Richard so Richard's our unicorn I'm sorry I called you a girl <laughs> okay Richard we've got a Hershey's beer Terry oh my goodness yeah he's so cute maybe that one <laughs> um you saw Albie and we've got Brittany the, the bunny we got Hugh the hippo, I think. Oh, I don't know. And then on the back, we've got Daisy. Oh, she's cute. Oh, Susie the sloth. Oh, my goodness. Too much. Felix. 
Danny, oh, you're so cute. <laughs> Lottie and Benji. Oh my gosh, I got a dog. Okay, see, if I got that one, I'd be really happy. <laughs> I'm not saying that I'm not, I'm just a bit over. I'm a bit over. Um, I think the unicorns have been overdone, if that makes sense. There's a lot of them about. A bit like dinosaurs, really. There's only so much dinosaurs and unicorns you can produce. But still, you're a cutie. And I think it's a nice series to collect if you are if you wanted to do that. Because they're quite lovely. Trying to do a little bit different, a little bit, something a bit different, aren't they? Like the, the brands. They're giving you a soft toy with a brand. <laughs> so the concept's cute. And I think, you know, as I said, if you collected them all, it would be lovely. Um, What else have we got here? So we've got... Snackle stories, fruit loops. See, he, he, I was gonna say she again. Richard looks really cute there. I'm not saying he's not, it just it looks really cute there. Uh, okay, what does it say? Like a little comic strip, I suppose. Eating, he's eating the um fruit loops. He's about to sneeze, and boom, they come out of the top of his uh unicorn. Unicorn? Cor a horn, sorry. He's having a party with my friends. Okay. Uh, we've got a couple of stickers here. Kellogg's, of course, because the leading brand of those that cereal. And Zuru Snackles sticker. Oh, okay. And I think that's all there is in there. But I don't know what it was, but I could smell, definitely smell something. Yeah, nothing else, I don't think. Just make sure. And that's that. So I'll round everything up, up and show you. Here's an overview of what was unboxed today. We've got our baby shark with the stamper and the yellow Play-Doh. We have Richard the Snackles uh, Fruit Loops Zuru series plush toy. And we did Wednesday, we did a Wednesday pod um, and she's dancing. And we did the Cry Babies, which was an adorable little keep set, keep it set where you can play based on the flower. Really lovely, really like that. And we've got this guy, which I think is a bit of fun as well. So that's everything that was um, boxed today. And did we stick to the budget? Have a look at the receipt. So yeah, I did stick to the budget. I was under budget. So I only picked up five things. And I, I didn't know what was going to, what the amount was going to come to. I just put these in the... Um, shopping trolley and I was surprised that it was under budget because the range is not the range can be in, in not not it can be expensive and not expensive it depends on what you buy from there right so um you yeah, know I was quite impressed with the fact that and I to be true to be truthful I only did pick up five things so I mean if I had picked up a couple more I would have gone overboard I would have gone over the amount but the fact that I was under budget it was quite surprising so um what was it like four pound three pounds less it's pretty good so yeah did i meet the budget did i make the challenge yeah i guess i did right because i stuck to it i didn't go over i didn't go completely under but i went midway so there you go what did you like best let me know have a fabulous day everyone bye